Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on laws of indices for multiplying powers. Now remember that this x squared here is known as a power, the x itself is known as the base, and the little number, this 2, is known as the index or the exponent. So the little number is the index, the whole thing is known as the power, and this x here is known as the base. Now when we multiply two powers like this, we've got a power times by a power, then there's a rule for this. So when we multiply a power by a power, we add the indices. So for this first one, when we do x squared times x cubed, we're multiplying two powers, so we add these indices, the two and the three, two plus three is five. So we end up with just x to the power of five. What about b? We've got 3 to the 4 times 3 to the 5 times 3 to the minus 1. Well, they all have a consistent base of 3, so we, we're multiplying 3 powers together. We add the indices together. So 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus minus 1 is 8. So it just simplifies to 3 to the power of 8. And the last one, we've got p to the x times p. Now, if you don't have a power here, there's no index here, we can put a little index of 1, because p to the power of 1 is just the same as p. Anything to the power of 1 is itself. Now, we're multiplying two powers together with a consistent base of p, so we can add the indices. We can just add the x and the 1. And x plus 1, that doesn't simplify. They're not like terms. We just have x plus 1 as the index, so we've got p to the power of x plus 1, and we can't simplify that any further.